Hey guys, it's Brittany with Eating Elephants and we are about to do day three and day four of my one meal a day fasting after post my 36 hour water fast. So my 36 hour water fast is what really started this off. So if you have not seen that vi that vlog, I will link it down below and I also did a little recap of it. I'll link that down below as well. So um, yeah, gonna continue documenting my one meal a day fasting protocol. Um, I am in ketosis, which is surprising because I ate rice yesterday, as y'all know, if you watched my day one and two, and it wasn't a little bit of rice. So yeah, that's exciting. I'm gonna go ahead and weigh myself. Excuse my lovely, lovely toes. 115.4. My BMI is 40, fat percentage is 48.7, and I don't know what that means. That is an eye-opener that I am almost 50% fat, according to this scale. So I have plenty of fat to burn. Um, so fat, I think I'm a really good candidate for fasting, and I'm going to continue to do this and hope that I shrink, shrink, shrink. I'll talk to you guys if I have anything to tell you between here and mealtime, but other than that, if not, I'll just talk to you at mealtime. Talk to y'all later. Oh, also, I am what? I'm over 12 hours fasted. I'm not sure actually where I am. 15 hours fasted. I am 15 plus hours fasted. Talk to y'all at mealtime. Here's what I got for dinner. I have some Italian sausage and mushrooms and onions in a tomato sauce over spaghetti squash. And then I have some Brussels sprouts and a big side salad and some strawberries and kiwi. And that is beets on the salad, beets and um, carrots with spring mix. All right, that's what I'm having today. Hey guys. So I just had the meal that I showed you. I did not eat all of it. Um, I ate about 60% of it. So I didn't eat all of the salad and I didn't eat all of the Brussels sprouts, which is weird for me because I love Brussels sprouts. So um, I just got full. And after I got done eating, I drank some probiotic yogurt um, because I, I'm really used to having probiotic foods every day and I haven't been. So I had some of that. As for how today went, actually today was really, really easy. Today was my easiest fasting day ever. I did so well and I kind of kept busy, but not to the point where I sh wouldn't think about eating. And also I went to the store twice today. I went to two different stores, once to one store for um, ketone strips and once to another store for food. I did a full grocery haul, which I actually got less and spent less money than usual because I'm only eating one meal a day and my babies are babies, so they don't eat very much. So I wasn't, I, 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 like, you know how you usually go to the store and get food and you'll get all kind of crazy stuff that you really don't need just because you're hungry or you're on, an, you're on an empty stomach, so they say eat before you go to the store. Well, I was fasted. I was you know, 16 plus hours fasted at the time, or maybe less or maybe, maybe less. I don't know, but I was fasted at the time and I didn't get all kind of stuff cause I was hungry. I got exactly what I went there for and some things that I didn't think of that I thought I might want for dinner, but not just a whole lot of snackage and stuff like that just because I was on an empty stomach. So I'm doing so well, y'all. I'm really proud of myself. Um, I have maybe like 15 more minutes left of eating time and I, th I don't think I'm going to have anything else because I'm really full but I think that's the hardest part is that sometimes there's some things that I want to eat that I miss eating or that I just craved today but I, I don't have enough time to eat all of it in an hour. So that's one thing that's hard about it. There's, there's no snacking and I am a snacker. So this is why the OMAD diet is really, or the OMAD fasting protocol 
I mean, is really um, good for me in trying to get my eating habits together is because I'm a grazer, I'm a snacker. But also that's something that gets a little disappointing because there are things that I want to have that are more snack-like. But when I eat this big meal or <laughs> half <laughs> of this big meal and I'm full, I don't have room for that snack. And then my hour is up by the time that I maybe kind of have some room for it. So yeah, doing really well. Um, that's a very small con because like I said, the cravings are minimal and I am not starving and miserable throughout the day. Today was so easy. So I'll see you guys in the morning for day four for my weigh-in. And thank y'all so much for your support in the comments. It's really great. Oh, yeah? Don't, don't take the phone from me. Hi guys, good morning. It is about before 6.30 a.m. This is how I look in the morning. <laughs> um, I still need to take a shower and the only thing I've done is brush my teeth. Feeling good, um, doing good. One thing I keep, I think I keep forgetting to mention is that I've had a lot of diarrhea since I've started fasting. And I think it's because of um, ketosis. I'm not used to being in ketosis. And I tested yesterday, as you guys saw, and I was in ketosis. So I think that's just my body adapting to being fat adapted. <laughs> so I wrote out some notes for a video about my positive and negative symptoms of fasting and my positive list is like long and then I have like two negatives. And I think the negatives were the diarrhea and I can't even remember the other one. So I'm really loving this fast and um, I'm gonna show you guys my weight and my ketone test. Alrighty, I'm about to test my urine for ketones. So when I test, if it's still the same color like that, it's negative. And if it turns any of these other colors, it's positive and I am in ketosis. I'm gonna dip now. It says to read the results at 15 seconds but it's already very positive. Oh my goodness, I am in deep ketosis. I am not even 12 hours fasted. I finished eating at eight o'clock last night. It is about 6.30 a.m. Wow, I am in ketosis. All right, let's have a look at my lovely, lovely toes so we can see how much I weigh. Two fourteen point six. My BMI is now just 40, 48.4 for my fat, um, 48.4% fat, Two fourteen point six. Okay, so <laughs> yesterday my weight was 215.6. Today I am 0 0.2 pounds away from having lost a whole pound since yesterday, not even 24 hours ago. Wow. Um... So that is almost six pounds lost. Um, well, five plus pounds lost. You can lose a lot of water weight, but since I, I see that I've been in ketosis, I've definitely been burning fat from these fasts. So that is not all water weight, and I look forward to seeing body changes, and I look forward to seeing all kind of other things. I was thinking I might already see some body changes, but I think that might be wishful thinking because I'm quite a large person and I don't think five pounds of weight would be able, would be visible on somebody my size. So um, I gotta keep getting ready for the day. I'm gonna get the kids ready. I'm gonna have my coffee and um, <clears throat> get everybody where they need to be so that I can go to work. I hate black coffee. I'm working on acquiring a taste for black coffee. Um, I won't say I hate it. I, I renege on that statement. I am acquiring a taste.
for black coffee. Look y'all, we found a nest. There's no eggs in it, but that's really cool. Oh, go, Ricky, go! Go get the eggs. Look, here's your basket. Nope. Oh, I forgot of course, my Ricky goes to get the basketball. <laughs> Got all these Easter eggs out here, and Ricky goes to get the basketball. Especially that cookie look good. Oh yeah, those cookies look really good. Wow. Oh yeah, that. I, see, I'm not really an icing person, but I like. So the here's cookies. my meal for today. I have some leftovers from yesterday, which is spaghetti squash with um, Italian sausage, mushrooms, um, and onions in a tomato sauce on top. I have an egg over some quinoa there. I have a little bit of granola that I'm gonna eat with some some grass-fed milk. And then I have some watermelon. I am actually really hungry today. I think I will eat all of this. Thief! Thief! You're making a mess too. Hey guys, the kids are in the tub, so you're gonna hear some splashing in the background. I actually did eat most of my dinner. Um, I just didn't finish some of the quinoa and the kids actually helped me with that. And I didn't really eat the watermelon because actually that watermelon was way overripe. So actually Ricky didn't care and he ate a lot of it. And um, yeah, but the kids always help me with my food even though I usually feed Ricky before I eat uh, because I fast and I, but I want him to eat an earlier dinner. But he still steals my food as you can see. <laughs> So actually today I had to fight through some hunger. I had to use some willpower. I had to use some discipline because I was um, presented with Easter treats twice today. <laughs> There's Ricky. I was presented with Easter treats twice today. And um, it was cookies both times. I love cookies, chocolate chip. And, and I think I actually got a clip of <clears throat> one of the times I was getting Ricky from his Mother's Day Out class, and um, they had a table out with the leftovers from their Easter party today. And I could have gotten some, and I didn't, and I'm so proud of myself. So I know that the granola I ate wasn't the best, but um, it could have been cookies. <laughs> so I'm proud of myself for that. And I'm just, this is just going really well. I'm doing way better than I thought I would. I actually didn't do so well on water today. I did not drink enough water today. I need to drink more. Um, I'm a little lightheaded today, actually. Even after I've eaten, I'm still lightheaded. Like when I bend over and then get up, um, my head spins for a while. I don't know what that's about. It could be detox symptoms. <clears throat> it could be detox symptoms. It could be symptoms of me getting used to going into ketosis. It's not low blood sugar because I ate. So um, I don't know what's to deal with that. But the benefits are far outweighing any negative symptoms that I'm having. And also some symptoms that I'm having could be unrelated to my fasting at all because like I'm eating every day, you know, this isn't like one of those 30 day water fasts or anything. I'm eating every day. So that's it for day three and day four. And I look forward to day five and six. I'm doing so well, so proud of myself. Thank you guys for all your support. Thank you for coming along with me on this journey. Please subscribe, like, and comment this video. Come with me on this journey. And how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Bye-bye.